Stephen Sargent live back at Blockchain Futures Conference 2022. We ran into the camelo of internet sensation Bitbuy, one of the trusted worthiness exchanges in Canada. Joseph, tell us a little bit about what you do and how important Bitbuy is to this community. So what I do is I'm the uh, camelo, chief anti-money laundering officer, and we take care of making sure that we comply with the money laundering and terrorist financing regs as well as protecting for fraud and all kinds of other stuff. Now, I see you're very, very pertinent when it comes to anti-scam protection. Tell us a little bit about how Canadians are getting scammed and what are some of the areas where we can do a better job of protecting them? Um, I think it's more education of telling them to look at regulated exchanges. Don't trust people that are contacting you on WhatsApp and Facebook and Instagram. And really do your research, D-Y-O-R. Like, I mean, at the end of the day, these people are just being bamboozled by people that are convincing them that they know how to make a bazillion dollars. It's funny that you talked about social media. Christian, you were on stage and talking about how IP addresses being scraped because of the transparency of pre-blockchain transactions. Talk about a little bit about what Omnia does to protect consumers. Yeah, so we have like this uh, uh, infrastructure layer where we let people use the infrastructure but build on top a kind of privacy that hides the IP and other metadata, but at the same time to be compliant so people can use it on like a regulated basis, the technology and being protected at the same time, right? That's awesome. Joseph, there's been a lot of scams. We saw that Tornado Cash recently got sanctioned. How does your team prepare when sanctions come about or when there's new emerging scams like pig butchering and others in the crypto market? Um, most of the time it's coming from chain analysis. Um, those are the, the ones that tell us the, the stuff that's obvious. And then the other time is just to make sure that the frontline staff are aware of what are the indicators and then bringing it up to our attention. And then usually we find new scams, new ways of, of dropping crypto, all kinds of stuff. That's the way we find all our stuff usually. How do you balance things like consumer protection and privacy versus being compliant with new regulations in Canada? So consumer protection and privacy is built into the core of the system. All the data is encrypted and then only certain people have access to it to review the, the information. Otherwise, it's just kept there for regulatory purposes or review purposes. Awesome. Now, Christian, you talk a lot about privacy, but people are wondering, well, if everything's private, how are you gonna be compliant with regulations in Canada, United States, and around the world? So I think uh, you have two, two, two pieces like of information. One is on the blockchain, one is outside the off-chain, right? So, we comply the, the information from chain analysis, like we said, for our like on-chain data. And for off-chain data, we have other kind of information mixed together. So we know what kind of information, like IP that comes from sanctioned, uh, let's say, countries or other kind of information. So that's how we build the information inside and protect the users and keep the compliance up to the needs that they need to have it in their applications. It seems like chain analysis is covering centralized exchanges and decentralized protocols. Thank you both for this interview. Joseph, it's great to see you again at the conference. And enjoy the rest of the conference, guys.